Welcome back to another um, 3D clay art cane tutorial. Today we're going to be making these cute little um, extruded envelopes. So obviously you'll need an extruder. These little discs are some that I have designed and printed myself. They're available on my shop. Um, the link will be in the description. So it comes in three parts. Um, and you need all three to make the little envelope. Right. So obviously you'll need an extruder um, and some really nice and soft clay. So you want to make sure your clay is super duper conditioned. And um, I'm just going to assemble my Lucy Clay extruder. Now the, these discs are thicker than the standard um, metal ones. But they do work with um, the Lucy Clay, the Macon's, the Walnut Hollow, and even the Fimo extruder. Right, so just assemble this, put the disc in, ready to be extruded. Um, let's just oh, let's undo this little bit here. And ready to oh it's a bit stiff ready to extrude makle okay so i won't i'll follow the same process for each um of the three discs the two weird angular shaped ones i'll make in the same color and then the little heart seal i'll make in red Okay, it's a bit of a mission, but the Lucy Clay is, in my opinion, the best extruder. I went through about four or five of the Macon's ones, and they just, they would fail um, after a, a few uses, and I've had my Lucy Clay one for a number of years, and I've I've only ever needed the one. It's really good. Um, you can see these little, when you extrude um, clay with really sharp edges, you'll see those little crackles. Look, in this case, they don't matter. But if it does worry you, um, add some clay softener to your clay and that will um, disappear. It, it, it won't crack like that anymore. Right, so you want to extrude enough of this to make um, two pieces of equal size. And we're just going to swap over to the smaller one. Now, as you can see, because I'm just using the same color clay, I didn't extrude all of the clay in the extruder. And so what I'll do is I'll just swap the dies and then I'll carry on extruding with the same clay. So that first bit was the bottom of my envelope, and this will be the top. Uh, probably a bit more than what I need over here, but meh. Drop this off. So again, I just want to make two pieces, um, the same, the same length as the first ones that I've got there. go yeah obviously they're heaps longer but I'll find a bit that I like and, and use that um, you want to make sure to clean all the clay out of your extruder if you're changing colors and you also want to be sure to clean your dies whether you're using um, standard metal dies or the these pr 3d printed dies or even um, the Lucy Clay dies come painted. Over time, the clay will um, break down the paint, even on the Lucy Clay ones. So you just want to give everything a good old wipe before you pack it away. Um, I've never actually left clay on the 3D printed ones, but I imagine it, it won't be good long term. 
they're using a little wet wipe to just give everything a wipe over um, is really your best option here right I'll just make sure to clean all of them before I pack them away and now we're gonna go over to this little heart um, shape so in this case I'm using um, a lovely red all the clay that I ever use is Primo so Sculpey Primo um, so you'll very very rarely see me um, use anything else so the reason I did the red secondary secondly whatever is because typically the red will um, the color will transfer so on your hands on your, your work surface on just about everything so if you can use the red last here we go now with this one obviously I don't need two lengths of it just the one will do okay so we'll we'll be putting this in the center of the little envelope but before I get there I'm going to use some black clay um, just to put a little bit of separation in between the the top and the bottom of my um, envelope here so I've got this really, really super thin clay um, just rolled out on my pasta machine. Um, this is really like paper thin, um, so it tears quite easily. But if you make this too thick, the the line sort of becomes a bit clunky and just not very um, appealing. So now this can be a bit tricky. I want to cut a straight edge and then... I don't want to put any um, black where the two halves of the top or the bottom meet. So I just want to put it on the slopey bit and in where the heart will sit. Um, so I'm just using this little rounded um, sculpting tool and pushing this black clay into that little rounded part where the um, the heart sits. Now of course you could do this um, before you cut it in half um, the the top or the bottom but I didn't think about that so um, I pop my little heart bit in here in the middle there there's a little channel for it fits in there quite nicely and chop it off and now I don't want to put more black on the lid of the envelope because that will double up the thickness of my line so all I want to do is put a tiny little thin strip over the top of um, the heart just again to keep that little bit of separation in between the top and the bottom of the envelope I'm just using the back of my blade just to make sure that it, all this little the little edge, edges of the black is tucked in nicely and then I will just find my um, the, the last part of the extruded cane here the, the lid of the envelope whatever you want to call it I'm just going to put those all together and it's really as simple as that so as you can see these little crackles here you, they're still visible on um, on this completely assembled cane but when you slice it it's I've not been able to tell where those um, little cracks are so it's absolutely fine I'm just squishing this together a bit and in doing so I noticed there's a bit of um, different colored clay red and black on the outside of my envelope so a little envelope a little alcohol wipe um, cleans that right up and you just give it a gentle wipe and all around and that's really it once you've got this sort of squished together a little bit um, you can either reduce it further or you can just 
slice it as it is, which is what I did here. Just giving it a final wipe. You want to be careful with the alcohol wipes. and The alcohol does break down the surface of the clay a little bit. So you just want to use it very sparingly. And there you have it. It's really as easy as that. Let me know what you think. And I will see you again in the next one. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments or shoot me a message on social media and I'll see what I can do about answering them.